in 1898, the world was at peace. With the exception of one troubled spot, Cuba, a reluctant colony of Spain, smoldering with the flames of internal strife. From forts like these, soldiers relentlessly held control of the island. A seething cauldron kept at boiling point by a people's hunger for liberty. The Cubans struggled by every means, even open rebellion, to break the ties. But they were helpless against the might of guns and cannon. Northward across the Gulf in Florida, strange bands of men, outcasts, renegades, soldiers of fortune, tempted by high profits and a spirit of adventure, gathered materials of war and headed for Tampa. Tampa, the jumping off place for contraband shipments to Cuba. stuff we lose? Nothing. Good. Tell you, your tricks sure surprised them. Especially those dead ones out there. Here, let me have a look at that. Feels like the slug is still in there. Come on, sit down. We'll find out. Old Eagle's stone dead. What are you fellas doing? Oh, just checking his personal belongings. Well, forget it. Get him buried. He was a decent man and a good one. Say, Lobo. You know the book from a lot of camp meetings. Well, I've backslid. But if it'll keep the devil from getting his soul. Anybody here know a Waco's Christian name? I don't. Me neither. Well, ain't much I can say over him, then. You can say he killed that polecat, Big Ed Clinger. Down in Santa Fe. Why, well, done it for free. Wouldn't even take the money when the boys passed the hat. Well, he must have been a fine man. Slug's still in there. Cut it out. I offered $50 to any man who got shot. I knew you'd be the first to collect. Oh, I don't mind the arm. I got another one. But they shut up my last good cigar. There you are. Carry it around for a souvenir. 
If I carried them all, I'd be bow-legged. How about a shot of red liquor? Cures anything. No, thanks. Just one won't hurt you. It might. I don't need it. All right, but this does. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, and dust to dust. To the Almighty, we recommend the soul of our dear departed brother. Because he had principles. Principles? What'd they get him? A hole in the head and a hole in the ground. I guess money's your red liquor, eh? If it had a car, said I'd marry it. Brother, are you gonna have a hangover someday? Yeah. We gotta get out of here in an hour. I gotta be in Tampa. To see those Cuban agents? Uh-huh. You know, they probably hired these hijackers trying to get our shipment without paying for it. Watch out. You're starting to think. I sell rum. How about selling it, sir? I could not just sell rum to a stranger. Perhaps if I knew your name. Adams. Cash Adams. Senor Cash Adams? Well, this rum is not for you to drink. For you, I have an special bottle. Come. This way, senor. Two bottles, senor. Thanks. We have been very impatient waiting for you to arrive. I'll bet. I bet you were real worried. Senor Adams? That's right. We had worries that you might not arrive safely. You didn't expect me to reach Tampa, did you? Oh, we hope with all our hearts that you would. I am Miguel Lorenzo, and this is Ignacio Dominguez. We are the Cuban representatives you were expecting to meet here. Meet here? Si. But not back on the road. I do not understand. I'll make you understand. <coughs> Senor Adams! Listen, a lot of things I don't like. And hijacking is one of them. Whatever you think we have done, you are mistaken. But look at it my way. Everybody wants what I've got. And I'd rather be wrong and alive than right and dead. You brought everything? The rifles? Everything. Remingtons, Winchesters, Colts, ammunition, dynamite. Bueno. Where are they? Where's your money? Uh, before we discuss that, I would like to make a presentation. I made it especially for you in my Tampa cigar factory. See the ban? Your initials over cross guns. But my bank doesn't cash cigars. Oh, wait, it's just a token for what you do for us? I haven't done anything for you. You are part of Cuba's war for freedom. Look, I don't care who wins any war, as long as they buy the merchandise from me. A man of your background, West Point, Capitan in the Army, 
You see, we know all about you. You know about my discharge, huh? See. Si. My dishonorable discharge. The one that gives me the license to be a gunrunner. Gunrunner. Hated by both sides. That, uh, that is not true, Senor Adams. You can become as much a part of the fight for liberty as our Cuban factory workers here in Tampa. Free Cuba. Free Cuba. But not for nothing. We have ample funds in Santiago. That's in Cuba. I'm in Florida. You will be paid when you make delivery. In Cuba. Cuba! What kind of a game is this? It is no game, senor. You must realize that the guns are useless to us here. Take them to Cuba isn't in the deal. There was no deal, except that you meet us in Tampa. This is Tampa, isn't it? Si. Where are we? Si, senor. Well, I'm glad that's settled. What's this about Cuba? It is very simple. All the arrangements have been made. Ignacio, tú tienes la mapa, ¿no es cierto? Dame. The ship will leave from here, and we will sail down along the Florida coast and then hug the keys till we reach the island of Haiti. From here, it is a short journey across this channel here to Cuba. That's through the Spanish blockade. <laughs> They're not going to like that. As a matter of fact, I hear they put four of your ships down to the bottom. This time it will be different. It certainly will. Because I'm not going and the guns are staying here with me. Gentlemen, we must discuss this. Oh, you're wasting my time. Please. Please, Senor Adams. There must be some way we can settle this. Yes, there is. The boat trip doubles the price. $200,000. And I'll see the guns get to Cuba. You have the guns. Cuba needs them desperately. Miguel. What were the instructions from Doña Isabela? Who's she? La Pasión. Silencio, Ignacio. This is a man of uncertain allegiances. I haven't had allegiances since I had the mumps. I am instructed to offer you a payment on account, if you insist. I insist. If I go. This is all we have in the fund for freedom. We will have a representative on the ship who will give you a payment when you reach Haiti. The balance in Cuba. Got any ideas of stealing the guns? I've got enough dynamite on board to blow that boat to bits. You know, senor, it is good to have a cause to work for. I hope one day you will find one. I've got one. Really? May I ask what you call this idea you sir? Cash. Cold cash. Hey, let me help me count it. Basin? Yes, sir. Let's go ahead. Get up there. Get up. Get up. Glad you got here. What do you call this thing? I asked the same question. Yeah, what they say? They told me it was a ship belonging to the Cubans. The scow belongs to the Cuban Navy? This is the whole Cuban Navy. The what? This is the whole Cuban Navy. There ain't no more. This dirty devil crossing. You think this is bad? Wait till you meet the captain. Who is he, Christopher Columbus? He's an old Mississippi River skipper. Tells me he fought against Farragut at Mobile Bay. He's a big man with a big mouth. A rum pot with a breath that'll peel paint. I even had to take a chaser when he stopped talking. We're sure shooting crap, shipping out on this tub. Ah, uh, we made our point. The first installment's in Haiti. And the big thing in Cuba. Pay the boy, will you? Thank you, sir. Gee, si, senor. Aboard. All loaded. Ten counted. What's that? All I know is what it says. Handle with care. Crockery. You want to bet? Mighty heavy for crockery. 
Build out of New Orleans. Still got the bayou mud on it. Somebody else is selling them guns. Did you see who loaded this? No, sir. I didn't. What'd they look like? Like the pictures in the post office. The ones that say wanted. How many were there? Why don't you count them yourself? This way, gentlemen. You too. Hello, Mike. Hi, soldier boy. I thought you were still selling guns to the Indians. Nah, you're wrong, dearie. Apache sweatbands ain't stylish this war. I'll bet you're wearing one right now. I knew you were in that hijacking. Now, you weren't setting to blame anybody else, would you? <laughs> Cash here, he'd... You just stay there. You look real comfy. Belay that! Belay, I'll blow your heads off. Aim for the tea, Sam. Ah. Which one of you birds started this slugging match? What kind of garbage you carry on this boat? That lost sold guns to the Apaches. They paid for them. So did my regiment. You and your scurvies came aboard. I warned you about ship's discipline. Scum selling blood for money. Now, don't overdo it. Some of my boys are sensitive. They get nothing but their feelings busted. They're lucky. Hey, from what I heard, you look like you must be Mr. Adams. That's right. Well, sir, my name is Captain Jones. I'm commanding this ship. Don't you ever forget it. None of you. You expect to sail this gut bucket from here to Cuba? Vicksburg will make it. Maybe you won't. Maybe you buzzers ain't never been to sea before, so let me set you straight about something. You just think of a king, and you'll get an idea what a captain of a ship is. That's me. You're biting off a big chunk. And I can't chew ever a bit of it. It's your boat, Captain. You run it. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Makes you dream you're back in the army, eh, huh, soldier boy? You wish I were when I get through with you. If you bloodsuckers crave money as much as I think you do, then you'll want to live to enjoy it. So get those chips off your shoulders. I guarantee you hell from here to Haiti. Now, the weather reports are good, all except the heat. There ain't no hurricanes brewing unless you want to cook one up amongst yourselves. Pedro! Send me, Capitan. Bring that tarpaulin in here. Get down there. Pedro's gonna take your pistols and store them in the arms locker, so toss them on that top and then don't raise them above your belt line. Uh, me and soldier boy here, we might lead eyes. And I'll load your cargo and get it off of my ship. See, fella, I told you that's how it's going to be. We're going to miss you, Pike. All right, shower down, boys. All right, boys. It makes a man feel naked. Follow me, I'll bunk you down. This way. Sam, looks like we're ready to cast off. Yes, Captain. After you. Just step up here forward, gentlemen. Hey, Skipper. The cabin will do fine for me. I said follow me. That cabin is taken, and that part of the deck is private. Huh. I wonder what Grandpa's got locked up in there. nothing better to do, you can go back and start lashing that cargo down. We hit rough water, you're gonna end up chasing it. 
Go ahead, Jingo. Be real gentle. Mine ain't paid for yet. Basket. Check our cargo, too. Hey, Skipper. Yeah, what's on your mind? You know, I was just... Well... Well, shoot me a big, fat goose. Good morning, senorita. So, that's what you had locked up. Why, shame on you, Grandpa, for hiding all them goodies. Talk civil when you're looking at her. Dona Isabella, this is Mr. Pike. This is Mr. Adams. The New York newspapers have been referring to her as the Cuban Joan of Arc. She's a fighter. She does her kind of spiritual life. Spiritual as a horse trader. Hey, sweetie, they take your gun away, too? My men are the only ones on board that's toting them. Part of the deck is still private. Uh, you know, between running this scow and watching that deck, you're gonna be as busy as a one-legged man at a tail-kicking contest. Good evening, Mr. Adams. Good evening. Well, well, good evening, senorita. No use my hiding. I knew you'd come looking for me. <laughs> you are what you Americans call the lady killer, huh? Well, that's against my nature to brag, but I do have a couple of notches on my gun. Oh, there are some very beautiful ladies in Cuba. Mm -hmm. No, I ain't much for window shopping. I got one all picked out. Oh? And you, Senor Adams, you have notches too? A few, but mine isn't a hobby. Better than collecting stamps. What do you think of our Cuban dancers, Senor Adams? Fine, but what are they doing? La conga. My people dance it all the time. They're not very worried about the war, are they? It worries them very much. But the hatred they carry is in their souls, not in their hearts. There is an old saying. Put two Cubans together, and they will make music, even in misery. They talking about dancing. How'd you like to learn the royal street cake? <laughs> Muchas gracias, senor Pike, but I would rather watch the conga. <laughs> Why do they call it the conga? It was the dance of our Cuban slaves. The only way they could dance while chained together. Soon, I hope, there will be no more chains. Well, I'm afraid you're betting on a long shot. Not all you got to say, soldier boy. Leave it to him to let moonlight and music go to waste. Well, uh, he's getting late. Good night, gentlemen. Good night. Good night. Hey, wait a minute, honey. I'll walk you to your cabin. Got a match? Get out of my way. I wouldn't want you to make a run on the bank. What bank? She's the cashier. And I wouldn't want your fun-loving nature to cost me any money. Well, maybe you're right. I know I am. But you know, no matter how hard I try to keep my mind on business, then something real nice like that comes along and heats up my blood. Remember, your mother was a woman. Or didn't you have one? I don't know what I sprung from, but at least I know where I'm going. That's more than you do. You called me a louse. When I get all the money I need, I'll still be a louse, but I'll be a rich louse. Quite an ambition. At least I ain't all mixed up the way you are. You're still shot full of that West Point bull. All you can buy yourself is a load of conscience. Me, I'll, I'll know how to spend it. But Sultan of Turkey thinks he's got a harem. Ain't nothing to the lollipops that I'm gonna collect. That class ring you're wearing, honor, duty, country. Don't let it fool you. I keep it to remind me I like money more than I do metals. You're everything I hate. It's a pity I can't kill you. I don't know what you're talking about. There's nothing to prevent me from killing you. Oh, yes, there is. Until we deliver and get paid for those guns, collecting might be tougher than we think. And until then, I'll need you and you'll need me. I don't know when I'm going to kill you, but you've got a date just about right. So, give a day or take a day. Your 
funeral of mine. Call it. What's the matter? It could have been quiet and nice. When we get paid in full, not before. You and Brass Buttons ain't getting cozy, are you? Just temporary. You talking minutes or hours? I'd put out his lamp right now. That's what makes the difference between you and me. You'll always be a gun slob working for somebody. You... you are a good friend to Senor Adams? He's been a good friend to me. Better than anyone will ever know. Ever since he came out of West Point. He was an officer and I was a sergeant, but we were good friends. Oh. Well, why aren't you both still in the army? Well, I guess telling you won't make any difference. No. We captured Katobi, the Apache chief, and were taking him to a government prison. We had him chained in a boxcar, and it was Cash who unlocked the irons and took his word that he wouldn't try to get away. That was like Cash in those days. And it would have worked out all right, too. The Indian was honorable. But the man guarding him wasn't. That was me. I stashed a couple of bottles in the boxcar, and... Well, it was bad enough lapping up myself, but I got plain generous drunk and got to feeding it to the red man. Next thing I remember, there was a young corporal laying dead across my boots. And my gun was gone, and so was Katabi. Cash couldn't defend me at the court-martial, nor himself either. He just sat there and took it quiet while they tore both our lives to pieces. When the dust settled and it was all over, we were kicked out of the army. I'll never forget the day. Him in a suit of store clothes, walking out of that barracks, leaving everything he ever believed in behind. And me running after him like a whimpering dog, trying to get him to forgive me. And you have been together ever since? Yeah. The army taught us how to use guns, and now we're making it pay. Get that plank down. I want to feel some ground under my feet. You hurt me, you cotton picking. Belay that, you buzzard. That's my first officer you're talking to. He's just a hunk of alligator bait to me. He's better than you, white trash. He fought by my side against Farragut and Mobile. You lost that fight, too. You know something? I ain't never been on a winning side in my life, but this begins to look like it's going to be my day. Why, you hover? Sam. Get your hands off him. You might get him dirty. I don't need a huff from you, soldier boy. You will. You still think you're gonna get through with this one alive? I'll bet on it. Well, I'm taking the other end of that bet right now. Get out of them. Hey, drop that! It's all right, Captain. Let him alone. Sure, don't be a spoil, sport. Let him alone. How many times do I have to tell you? Tell me what? You don't kill Santa Claus before Christmas. Very cute, soldier boy, but take it easy. I'm liable to need him. Yeah, still got him. He's a lot cleaner. You can take a little, I always say. 
We could all use a little soap and water. We're going for a carriage ride. And as much as I hate it, I've got orders to take you along to meet the man. Well, I guess I can get dressed up for once if the price is right and the fixings are pretty. Pardon me. Thanks. All right, you land lovers, you can help me and my crew load up these new supplies. Come on. Come on. All right, just get that bird. Get that box up there. Hey, uh, can I hold your sewing for you? Thank you. Thank you very much. You feel all right? You never seen this side of me, huh? Well, you look kind of silly with those toilets on your lap. Don't worry, it won't always be Durleys or whatever you call them. Someday I'm gonna have a bag like this full of money. What you have to do to get it, though, all this shaving and dudin' up like a fancy den. Say, who is this biggie I had to put a celluloid collar on for? His name is Jose Marty. Oh. Who the blazes is he? Well, he means to Cuba what George Washington meant to our country. I read his writings in the New York Sun. I thought the Spaniards killed him. They have tried many times, imprisoning him for years in the rock quarries. But his spirit could not be broken. He has been the apostle of our people. Our wine is bitter, but it is our wine, he said. And all Cubans know, deep in their hearts, that we will win liberty just as your country did. That is why Marty lives and fights. Can you read those drums? No. Some of my people know the code. What do you think they're saying? I suppose they're telling Mr. Marty that we're arriving. Did they say anything about money? I'd sure like to get my hands on some. Well, well. There's a pretty classy layout, huh? I'm glad I wore this suit. Senor Adams? No, thanks. Hey. They live real good here. Maybe we sold too cheap. Could be. Well, listen. Why don't we... Hermanita! Tengo mucho gusto de verte. Juanito! Oh, Juanito! Hermanita, ¿por qué estás afuera tanto tiempo? Oh, speak English. Hasn't your American teacher taught you anything since I've been away? Sí, and I study hard. But this is not for a number who wants to fight. Oh, but you are not a man quite yet. This is my brother, Juanito. Oh, a brother. Oh, that's nice. New Cuba, the future, in which there will be no more slaves. Shake hands with Captain Jones. The lad is as bright as a new penny. Gracias. Come along, Juanito. All these men are helping our country, Senors Pike and Adams. Hi. Con mucho gusto. I mean, I am happy to meet. How do you do? Hey, and that soldier, I never cotton much to kids, but this one I'd like for a brother-in-law. Juanito. That means Johnny, doesn't it? Si, senor. You are a soldier? Well, yes, I... I mean, I was. But he called you soldier. Juanito. Mr. Vega, how nice to see you again. Thank you, Miss Durkee. You have taught him English well. I did my best. You must go to bed now, eh? No. Johnny, a good soldier always minds. Well, buenas noches. Buenas noches. Pleasant dreams, little one. Senores, Jose Marti. Gentlemen, welcome. And how is our Capitan Jones? Fitter than a two-dollar fiddle, sir. Senor Pike. That's right. Pike. Senor Adams. How do you do? La Pasión. I have heard of your great successes in New York and Washington. 
My good friend Charles Dana has sent me copies of the speeches you made to the American societies for Cuban freedom. I have brought something more than that. Thank you for taking care of my sewing. Sure. Hey, that's money. Yes, real money. And you had a whole lap full of it. Yeah. Well, you had it on you all the way from Tampa. They said it would be in Haiti. Oh, it is now. This money literally came from the heart's blood of our people in the United States. For a free Cuba. And I pray God to be on the winning side just once. He has put it in your hands, Captain. If these guns do not get through, we are lost. They are the difference between success and failure. You realize you don't get a single gun or a bullet until we get paid. Ain't that right, Cash? That was the deal. I understand that, gentlemen. And here is $25,000 for each of you. 25000 When do we get the balance? When you reach Cuba, at a place near Santiago. There, you will meet General Maceo, a magnificent man. He has killed more than 2,000 Spaniards and been wounded more than 20 times. I've heard about him. He's waiting in Cuba now to strike through the blockhouses and drive the Spanish from our land. Fighting men will always bleed to make liberty a reality, Senor Adams. And now you see why we Cubans call her La Passion. She is the mistress, saint, wife to our soldiers, their very inspiration. And now, Isabella, I do not wish to seem inhospitable, but the Vicksburg must leave with the morning tide. Capitan? Just as you say, sir. Yes. Yeah. That will allow me to spend a little while with Juanito. Yeah, why don't you do that, sweet stuff? Hmm? Just relax. You know, now that we're acquainted, I learn more about you tonight, and I like what I learned. So from here on in, you and me are going to work in close harmony. Best part of the trip is coming up. Come on, Skipper. Let's get things started. I will walk you to the carry, senor. Fine. We'll get those guns through, sir. Buy us con Dios. Captain Adams. Yes? May I speak with you as Captain Adams, not Cash Adams? If you'll speak to me as Isabella, not as a wife or a saint, then stop your play acting. Play acting? Loving your country? Praying for those who died and worrying for those who are going to die? Everybody dies sooner or later. Not in torture. The Spanish are masters at that. Would you like me to tell you how they do it? I could also tell you about my own family in Bayamos, who fought to the death. My father, mother, my older sister, who fought the Spanish with machetes, but maybe you could understand if it were your country instead of mine. I have no country. Then I'm sorry for you. Captain Adams is dead, isn't he? That's right. I was going to ask you for a favor, but now I'll say it differently. What is your price to see me safely to Cuba? I deliver guns, not saints. Your price? What's worrying you, Pike? Hey, Cash, get a move on. We're waiting. You'll get to Cuba. No charge. Engine room. Yes, sir. Don't build up high pressure. I can't let those smokestacks get red hot. I speed, they look like a red stick candy. Spanish gunboats would be able to spot them from 20 miles tonight. You want to break a booze? I love no thanks. You know, for a river man, you're a pretty good seaman. How'd you get mixed up in this? Oh, I started smuggling their refugees up through the Florida Keys. Cuban people with prices on their head. And I got a feeling for them. Feeling like I was on the right side. Maybe you are. Who knows? You know something, fella? I think I am. My good friends call me side wheel, and I'd take it as an honor if you did the same. Hey. I want to show you where we are. We're just about here. And across here is a blockade of gunboats. Our only chance is to slip by them when it's dark tonight and hit the mouth of the river Torquina. That's right up here. That river's too shallow for those warships. But this old boat, 
this old Vicksburg, <laughs> it can run on a wet handkerchief. That's why you use paddle wheelers, huh? Mm -hmm. And me and my men who know how to operate one of them. So it looks like tonight's going to be the showdown. I'm hoping all land lover passengers stay cool and keep out of our way. Business as usual, if you know what I mean. I'll be on watch, so I'm asking you to take my table in the dining quarters with Dona Isabella as your guest. Just like an end of a cruise dinner. Hmm? Oh, come on. That ain't gonna be so hard to take. Don't worry. I've been vaccinated against sentiment. Don't you bank on it, fella. It can rear back and bite you like a flock of chiggers sometime. Not me. I've got a motto. Oh? Huh? Lovers die broke. smell. I'm trying to. This is Dollar Cologne. It smells like that there place in Shreveport. That's right. I got it from there. You got off lucky. Yeah. You're looking pretty slick. I can do all these gent tricks that he can do for a gal except to shave in every couple of hours. I even swore off washing till you take care of that Mr. Fancy Britches. I noticed you took some kind of a vow. like he's an Antoine. He don't learn them manners and no quick, easy lessons. Yeah, he's faking. I knew him out in the sagebrush when he was eating army bully beef with his mitts. And I bet he crooked his little finger. Watch the way he handles them tools. Pretty, uh, select couple, ain't you? How are you this evening, sweet stuff? You're a little lost, aren't you? No, I don't think so. You know, I've been worrying about you, fella, these grandstand plays you've been making here. I won't nurse you if you start going soft. If you ever think so, try taking something I want. Mean a little chili pepper here? Your table is over there. How about leaving that up to the young lady? She might like to ask me to join you. I have nothing to say about it. This is the captain's table. So, friend of my youth, good night. Ah, it takes two to say good night, and I ain't said it yet. He's a flossy talker, ain't he? A real live ladybug, he thinks. You know, don't let the grammar fool you, Miss Vega. He ain't been around. I've said goodbye to more women than he's ever said hello to. You're so right. Good night. Good. Go to your cabin. Let's settle this thing once and for all. It's a very good idea. Good. It ain't the way we planned it, but it suits me fine. Molly, you tend to... I told you to go back to your cabin. So you two fools can fight over your stupid little hatreds? Wait, I was going to Spanish gunboats. Kill those engines. Run into 
spend here sooner than I figured. You boys might have something really to fight for. Now, I want you to turn out all these lights, cut out the noise, and keep your voices down. Because sound travels across water like telegraphy. Come on, let's get these lights out. We'll never get a chance at each other. Don't worry. They'll never take you alive. I promise. Capitan, there's Cuba. Now, Capitan. Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. You got any idea what the play is here? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. Me tiene miedo. He has an eyes, Miss. Bueno. Toma los cuchillos. Me quito entre las camisas. Going someplace? Ashore. We can't unload the stuff here. I thought we were going up the river. The drums have warned us of a Spanish artillery position on Point Estraita. What can you do about it? As a little girl, I fished and swam in these waters. I am the only one who knows the land here exactly. Well, suppose you do get there. What can you do? Me, nothing. They. You know, I think I'll go right along and protect my investment. Me too. Never send a boy to do a man's work. Hey, Django, Fred, Shorty. Lobo, Tasker, first. 
All right, Sam, pass them out. Yes, sir. They have yourself, gentlemen. There's plenty for all you volunteers. You're all ready to go to work, gentlemen. Nice and sharp. They're all the same. There's a nice one in the corner. Gentlemen. Well, come on. I've always wanted to see Cuba. Sure, please. Hey, Red. Shut him off. Fall back, make a lot of noise. Yes, sir.
maybe. Too bad it isn't gold. If it was, I would have drowned. That was the idea. Nice, please, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You know, that's the kind of girl I could take home to mother, if I could trust father. Money ain't everything. Please, get out of this cabin. Oh, no, don't hurry me. I just want to sample some of that Cuban hospitality I heard about. Get out of this Wait cabin! Wait a minute, honey bunch. Get away from me! Take your hands off me! Come on, you don't have to play oh, games oh. with me, huh? Well... <laughs> Thank you, sir. It's hot tonight, isn't it, Captain? Sure is. Always a one. <laughs> oh, I've been looking for you all over the boat, Sam. Somebody's hiding in the food locker. Why don't you go in and get him out? Oh, it is dark in there. It may be a, a Spanish agent. Give me the key. I better check it. Come on out. I said come out. Cover me. Well, hello. Hello, soldier. A good thing you had your guns, Sam. You might have taken us. Viva Cuba. We are here. No? We are here, yes. Come on. Take him to Donna Isabella. He's a brother. No. Now I help you fight Spaniards. You and me together, eh? Get his sister. Say, how did you get on board? I fool everybody. Six pesos to the hay driver to hide me. So when dark comes, I find a room where there is food to eat and water to drink. Well, well, you're a pretty smart operator. I think. Weren't you scared? Scared for how? Oh, the boat and the darkness and... I like very much. But I am glad there is a soldier with us who knows how to beat these Spanish whatever they do. Let's stop that soldier talk. Como? They're all alike to me. Americans, Spanish, Cubans. U.S. military... Academy. Academy. Senor Marty told me all about you. You are one big soldier. Juanito. Juanito, how could you do this thing? Wait, soldier. Tell her how you will let me help you fight. But you are just a child. My father, he too was a soldier. No. He was gentle. A man of the land who fought for what he believed in. But look, he was the ring of the academy. It is too bad my father was not an hombre like this one. What is the motto of your West Point? Honor, duty, country. Juanito, some men wear mottos. Others live by them.
understand, sir. According to the chart, this is where we were to meet. Maybe the Spaniards got here first. Keep your eyes open, Sam. Has the Capitan side wheel? That's right. Bueno. Muchachos, vengan aquí todos. Es el Capitan. Ándale. Go ahead, go ahead. Watch out, Jim! He's to the starboard! Stowed on at that. Any little accident that'll happen to him will make her pay soon enough. This is Pablo, leader of Agrios. A thousand thanks for bringing her to us, Capitan. My pleasure, Senor. This is not Juanito. Yes. Little Juanito. <laughs> hey, you know this touches me. Every place except the pocketbook. Who puts out the pesos for this army? <laughs> Thank you, senor, for calling the grillos an army. As for pesos, we consider them more blessed to receive than to give. Grillos. What is it? What is this grillos? A grillo is a, is a tiny bug which makes a large hissing noise, but whose sting is weak. We have given its name to these patriots. They are misfits, thieves, pickpockets, the dregs of Havana and Santiago. What they are doing for our country now, they once did for themselves. We uh, sting the Spanish, delaying them where we can. We take care of communications and the delivery of supplies. Spanish supplies when we catch them napping. Or Americans, if you catch them napping. Yeah, you hit it. Not one crate of guns leaves that ship until we see money. You are bluffing, as you call it. You know the Spaniards will be here soon. She's right. Unload your cargo and you'll be paid. At the rendezvous where General Maceo will receive it. How far do we have to lug it? Not far in kilometers. But that is all changed, Doña Isabella. The Spanish, they patrol all the trails now. We must make our own as we go along. But I know a place to go through a mountain pass to join Maceo and Santiago. Don't anything ever come easy with you birds? Faster. Get our stuff ashore. Well, let's get our stuff ashore, too. Muchachos, vayan con los americanos para ayudarles, eh? Captain, come with us. Oh, please. Mm -hmm. Having you aboard the Vicksburg was the nicest thing that ever happened to that old boat. And the nicest thing that ever happened to me. We Cubans will long remember you. And this I promise. This time you will be on the winning side. Goodbye, Donna Isabella. Goodbye, Captain. Goodbye, Mr. Adams. And I still say it was nice having you aboard. Nice serving under you. How do you expect to get out of here? Oh, don't worry about me. I'm going to ease out of here right tonight. Ain't got no problems at all. Just like that, right through the blockade. We probably meet up the next time in Santiago Bay. How do you figure? Well, there's been a lot of talk about the U.S. coming in this fracas. I hear tell us in the battleship Maine to Santiago just to show that we mean business. So you see, I ain't got no problems. You wouldn't kid an old soldier, would you? Well, Sam and me will make out. He used to be my slave. He's free to do his own thinking now. So am I. You want to argue that, soldier? No. Good luck, Sidewheel. Goodbye, Captain Adams.
Capitan. Now, get along with you. You just follow that river down to the sea. Christopher, the rest of you, you're all good men, and you'll find a good berth somewhere. Just use me as references. Address side wheel Jones, Tampa, Florida. Now, get along with you. Good luck. Adios. Be swarming around that ship like flies around sugar. We could have helped the old skipper. We could have stayed and picked off some of them from the brush. Delay the rear action. Let him get the wagons. Sergeant, you used to be a very tactical man. Just imagine we're back on the old Mississippi raising hob on the way to Natchez. Yeah. Those were the good old days, hmm? Huh? Ain't scared, are you? You know, Captain, I wish that I had a handful of this bravery back on Mobile Bay. <laughs> Sam, I can see it just like it was yesterday. There we was, sitting on Mobile Bay, just like a bunch of sitting ducks with Admiral Buchanan on the Tennessee and... Here comes Farragut steaming up in his flagship Hartford with four ironclad monitors and about 30 other ships. Well, we didn't stand a ghost of a chance with that firepower. And it was a doggone shame losing that battle that sick me on this here liquor. Leastwise, that's what I'm gonna tell the man upstairs when I get to the pearly gates. Cause I wouldn't be caught dead up there without an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> Everything all right below? Yes. Well, I guess I better get started. Mm-hmm. Goodbye, Captain. Oh, now, none of that. You still be right with me come heaven or... Hellfire. Yeah. Take this long, keep you company. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Majesty of Spain, I declare you under arrest. Well, in that case, there you are, sir. I said arrest, not surrender. You are only a gun runner and will be dealt with as such. Oh? Where did the Grillos take your cargo? You know, it's trouble with booze, it dulls a man's memory. Capitan, no carts or pack animals have been to the shore. They must have carried the guns inland by hand. Which way? The bushes are trampled, but the signs lead in all directions. Which direction? I just got through telling you, booze dulls a man's memory. Which way? Wait a minute, I was just about to remember and you startled me out of it. So excuse me while I unstartle myself, will you? <clears throat> yeah, you just wiped out my whole family. Didn't give a man nothing to live for. What good's an empty glass without something to fill it with?
Where did they take your cargo? Wait a minute, Lieutenant. Where did they take your cargo? Wait a minute, Lieutenant, just simmer down a minute. Now, don't get excited. Now, wait a minute, calm this. What'd you say? Nothing. A patrol of soldiers. I don't like it. It's too quiet. I could change that for you. I know, but I'm going to make you sergeant in charge of the water. That is good, no? Oh, it's very good. You see that we have fresh water every day. Pronto, soldier. Pronto. House. It was not there a few months ago. I myself go through the pass. There's one there now. 
We must find a way. Without these guns and ammunition, Maceo will be destroyed. Soon it will be darkness. I will take some men and try to find the pass to the north. Ramon, Carlos, come with me. Vasco, put some men on guard. Three cheers for Cuba. Say, Pike. Yeah? Suppose Pablo can't find a way to pop the cork out of this bottleneck. Yeah, suppose. I may be just a gun slob, but I got a hunch we ain't gonna be paid. Shame on you. You starting to lose faith in me? You're awfully quiet down there. Yeah. Do you know where Juanito is? No, no, I don't. Last time I saw him, he was dishing out water. Hey, Cash. He went back to that spring we passed to fill up the bucket. You let him go alone? I didn't know no different. Come on, Trask. You know, that's cute. That's, that's real noble. This Cash, he's beginning to be a regular member of your family, ain't he? You know, it's a pity. A tasty little puddin' like you, wasting your time on a guy that's got no future. You get through praying for him, you better start praying for us. Did you find another way to get through those mountains? There is no way. There is no? Oh, yes, there is. Tasker, come on. Hey, where are you going with rum dum? You got any idea cashing in on those guns? You tell your partner here. You want in? Yeah. All right, you're in all the way.
General. Still with me? All the way to the pot of gold. Pull him up! Alto! Alto! Move out! Escóndanse detrás de los árboles! Las carretas que sigan adelante! Stopping here for? This is where we are to meet Maceo. How is he? I do not know. Maceo has a doctor. I hope he comes here soon. What is this? We sweat our guts out across a stinking gulf and then we chop our way through half of Cuba and this big brass button baboon of yours don't even carry a watch. <laughs> General Maceo fue atacado. Una cosa horrible. No quedó nada. General Maceo was attacked. His detachment cut to pieces. What is left of his forces are hiding with him on Monte Corona, hoping for these guns and bullets. to Marcel. Don't worry about the guns. Here. But that is only for soldier. Your soldier. The best. turn these wagons around because the Spanish will pay us for what we've got especially since we know where Maceo's hiding out I'll get things rolling
Get those wagons rolling. Get off there, I told you. Hold it, Pike. What for? The guns are going to Maceo. Well, he ain't paid for. Oh, yes, they are. Johnny paid for them. Christmas is over. Say goodbye to Santa Claus. Good. I never did believe in him anyway. It's a shame, Cash. I hate to see this happen. You and I could have made some great deals together. Just you and me, pal. Like you said, your funeral or mine.